Mark. Good morning, or good afternoon, everybody. Today we're here with a new friend of mine. This is Jacob. Good morning. He's up. He's up for the after, up for a couple days to help me out a little bit and get some time on driving some horses. So today we've got Bill, and we're harrowing our garden. And I chose to just use Bill and use the spring tooth, um, just shallow. They're not that dug in that deep shallow, so he can handle the these big spring twos. And we have very little to do because this garden ground is so nice. A couple passes around is all we'll have to or, and need to do. So Jacob has had some experience driving and he's doing quite well even already uh, on using Bill. So I'm gonna continue having him work Bill here. And as he's going around, I'll explain a few other things as to what's going on here in the farm. So go right ahead and okay. um, go Bill, around a couple more times and then we'll go the other way. Come step. So because the harrows are fairly shallow, he's able to go up onto the grass without doing any damage. But in the, the ground itself, it's been plowed, it's actually working up quite well. So what I wanted to talk a little bit about today is the mare, <coughs> Meg, the Suffolk mare that we had here on our last video, I believe it was, or a couple videos ago. Uh, we got her bred. Uh, Baron was successfully able to get her bred, and so hopefully she'll be having a colt for uh, the friends of ours that have this mare. Um, I was hoping to show a little bit more of her, but it really happened quite fast, so I wasn't able to do that. Um, we only had her for a few days. She came right in heat. We got her bred, and they took her home. So that was great. So um, another thing I want to show you is uh, Jacob and I took a ride this morning um, up to the Amish farm that I bought Baron from. And I want to go to that footage even now because they have a newborn colt up there. That is Baron's colt, so I want to go show you that. Yeah, maybe the milk wasn't good. Mm. Maybe. That, that's what all my grandpa was up over that time and he said he think that what it was. Had she had colts before? No, that, that was the first time. Yeah, first. Yeah. This would be Baron's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is probably Baron's first uh, draft horse colt, correct? Is he? Is it a colt or oh. a filly? That's a filly too, right? I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, a so this is the first one you guys have had from him. You had the half, uh, the, 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 the half, half breeds. The half, yes. Yeah. But, and well, the, this was the second one for the spring. Right, but one duck. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, th this is the first one. Yes. yes. Yeah. So. I have one mare and, and she's bred to him due next month. Yeah. So. Okay. Is, he fr is she friendly? Or can I go up to her? Bye. Bye, she might be a <laughs> to start a with. Her. Right, right. How about the mare? Is she good? She's, she's good. Okay. Hey, gals. Come here. Come here. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Nice looking, huh, Jacob? Huh? Nice looking, huh? Yeah. Okay, well that just gives us a little taste of what we got coming in another month. Is that a road horse? Yeah. Stud? Road yeah. horse, yeah. Two days old. And this filly is when was she born? I think four weeks old. Probably four weeks old. Four weeks, old. weeks yeah. Well, four or five. I'm not, I'm not sure of the date, the exact date. Yeah, seems like they were about a week old when, when Brenda and Abby came over here. Yeah. No, well, she looks great though. Have you been out doing field work? Are you short on horses now with this one? But, but Are you no. short on horses? Not, with... not really. No. But we've been using her some. You have been. A little bit. Yeah. But not, not in the field. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So have you been doing much, been able to do much field work? We haven't 
haven't started yet. I haven't started, okay. We're just putting out corn, so it's not really. Okay, no oats this year? No, no oats. Okay. Because I got, I got my oats in last week when we had that nice weather. Yeah. That was nice weather. That was nice weather. And it sounds like the next two days is going to be really, really nice, too. Right. So. Yeah, we've, we've been working her a little bit, just throughout the farm light a stuff. little bit. Yeah, yep. light stuff. Toughing her out. So, you, uh, have you heard your father say whether or not he's going to want both bread back? I'm assuming, probably. Or, or maybe with the troubles, he's not so sure. I'm, he, he wasn't sure. Yeah. Had she I'm, had a cult before? The, the, no, yeah, the yeah. other one. The other one, no. The, that was her first. That was her yeah. first. I'm not sure is he going to breed him back or not. You mean he might not even breed her back? I'm not, not sure. sure. Okay. Well, I'll come over and talk with him. We had to borrow had to borrow a team this this winter. Right. Yeah. He, we, prob we like he probably regrets selling Baron. Kinda. Yeah. So, he's. He's doing we, really we like our Owen horses. <laughs> you, you what? We like our Owen horses. Yeah. Not, not we don't want to borrow. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm a little short on horses myself. <laughs> but if we do breed them back, we'll probably probably have him. him. Oh, I'm sure because it's it's paid for. You know, it's right, it's yeah. not like he's got to pay for it. So and 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 you can tell him so that he can think about it. That arrangement could be if he wanted to wait until next year. It would still be the same situation. Okay. He's got one breeding coming back, so whether it's this year or next year, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. So sure. just I'll so he can think about. Yeah. I'm, I mean, he doesn't really talk about it. Come step. Come step. Bill has not been working for a couple of days now, so he's feeling pretty good and wanting to pull pretty hard, actually. Um, I probably even should put the brain strap on him um, just to calm him down a little bit. Um, so I can see we're going to have a little issue there, which is not his fault at all. But to get the horse far enough up so that the harrows actually hit the, all that over there, it's a little bit hard to do. But I'm more concerned about the center here. And I'm not so much concerned about the sides. The sides we can get the other way. The center because there is a the dead okay, furrow yeah. in the middle. Hold up there for a second. Hey, hey. So you're not gonna be a hit up there very good. No. But that's okay. What I'm most concerned about is right here. Okay. So we're just working on bringing this in and we can actually throw both sides. Okay. So I wanna show you a couple sure. show you one thing. Um, or do one thing and it'll make it easier for you. I'm gonna put his brain strap. Okay. Talked about the brain strap before. Um, as you can see, he's he's kind of hard to hold. Oh yeah. And so, tell me what you think of this. Now, this is something with most horses you'd have to be very very careful with because it's actually they'll actually stop because if you 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 tend to put more pressure on than need be. Okay. So you need to feel that feel where that uh, where that right that that fine line of where you need to how much you need to pull. Okay. And don't worry too much about the end, like we were hoping to get up there. Don't worry about that. Okay. Just worry about the sun. Okay. It's still a little bit wet. Almost up. Almost up. Bill, stop. Oh, I'm glad it's coming up. I need to get rid of that. I was trying to get that up before, so this is good. I wanted it out of here.
terrible over there with the plastic now. What's that? And I want it out of there anyway. It's the plastic. It looks terrible every time yeah. I... I'll have to keep going there with the skids and pop it out with the forks. Or we can purposely try and work it after we're done here with them and that. It's hard to get it out for any skids there. Whatever. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. actually almost probably too wet to work because there's all these clumps in here. Mm. Too bad. Hopefully they don't stay they can see right. if you it's work fine. it again soon. Yeah. Um, what if we were to loop around one nice pass up through there or even two passes so if you want the potatoes in even today. Well that might be good. I don't have the potatoes. I'd have to go get them but. Or we could get the lines. Get it. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get that'd be awesome. For, dug for you so you can just pop it in at any point. That'd be awesome. Okay. So, um, so go around there. So you can hit that corner right there. Okay. See that corner? You guys hit that one. Put them right out there. And then keep them right up. Way off the garden type of thing. And kind of hit just right here. Come right down through here. So your, your perils are kind of about here. Right straight out of here. Okay. And we'll see, we might turn around and do it twice, but at least one good pass so the harrows are right okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And we could put a, get the lines made and pull up the pearls for you and then you can just drop the potatoes in whenever you get the potatoes. Sounds awesome. Oh, we're awesome. Yeah, you are awesome. I'm glad you, you uh, pulled that plastic up. That's from an old bed and I just needed to get it out of there. So I tried to pull it up myself the other day. Glad to get rid of it. You get that marker still. So. You saw the marker. Mm -hmm. Oh, keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. Come step. Come step. Come step, Bill. Bill, please. Come step. We've had some questions about what this is, and can you tell everybody where you got it and what it is or not? Um, 
Okay, so this is a spring tooth harrow. Um, we had just plowed this garden. Sometimes we use a disc right after we plow. This soil being so so nice from being plowed every year, it didn't need a disc. All it needs is a spring tooth. And it's just these straight teeth here drag all the time. And they're kind of like the finishing harrow type of the thing. And these are the spring tooths that we adjust to dig to level the ground. And, and they're different. You can make it however deeper. With the handles, we can put it whatever depth we want, yes. And it's a Pioneer? It is a Pioneer. We bought it brand new. A Pioneer is not in business anymore, but uh, they, somebody still makes these harrows. So if they look online, they should be able to find them. So. Okay. Thank you, Jacob. Well, all right. Thank you. What can you do? You might go right there. Just bring over there approximately where these harrows were. On the far side, yeah. On the yes. side. Okay. You should just do the marks. Okay. I have a roadway around the whole thing, right, so right. I don't want you to block the roadway. Right. So then stop him, he'll stay on fire for you. Real quick, just pull the hook off the ring mm -hmm. and drop, maybe take off one tug and hang it up. Okay. And just let it drive by one tug. Okay. And then just continue driving around the driveway. Okay. And I will meet you right back here. Okay. You good with that? Yeah. Okay. Bill, go with that. So if you can get the hole yep. and the marker, mm -hmm. we'll put him away and we'll mm -hmm. do how many rows you want. Just two? Two, four? At least two. Okay, well we'll make Maybe four. three. We'll make four marks. Okay, make four marks. And then, uh, so if you can get some stakes also, yep. I'll, I'll run the rows, I'll have him run the hoe, and we'll get it done. Okay. So this is lovely because I have these guys helping me get some ground ready for potatoes to be planted. I have to go get the potatoes. They're that far ahead of me. And uh, this whole garden will have to be worked again before I can really plant uh, more things in it. But for potatoes, since we hill them up and everything, this is just going to be just fine. I can't wait to get potatoes in. Uh, the potatoes we planted last year are just about gone. And I want to get some early potatoes in so I can be um, getting them harvested when um, early in the season. So on this fine spring afternoon, Jim and Jacob are gonna head down the road and work on some fence building, fence fixing. The horses have had a couple days off for different reasons. And so Baron was really kind of feeling his oats just a little while ago. Um, and but he's settling down now and doing a great job. This is, Tim was just saying, this is really great exercise for the horses. It's really quite heavy, but he's just going to take a stretch down the road here and work on the, the fences, as I said. The 
it's still really wet in this pasture right here. Well, it's good in summer. I guess you pop that in a few more times. All right. Oh. Cut that. Okay, what I normally do is approximately jump right up here and just pull the lines off. I'll stick these in. But what I normally do is like pull the um, I can't remember sure if that's what I did here or not. Also, I'd like to, even that one there, I could have and should have probably put down a little bit farther. I, well, I used to drive a lot this scoop on the road for exercise. And it's nice to be able to get the horse, but um, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm actually hoping more so to get going around the field more because I made that roadway kind yeah. of thing around the field. And so. You mean you were afraid that it would get too close to the okay. Okay. the okay. horses? The, the fence, if you, where yeah, it is? Yeah, I don't want them to, I, I want Run the horse over it. here, you know. And if I put it here, they're not going to do it. Yeah. But also for furs and whatever. It is wet. Yeah, it is. Okay, pull right down there. So you just be on where I'm going to put this fence first. Okay. They're going to tend to push that way. Yeah, I know. I know. So okay. as you go, just okay. try to keep them in there. But don't go yet. Yep. They were new last year. We shouldn't have left them out here. Well, I, nah. I know, but the sun weakens them. Is this the first time Baron has done fencing? I'm trying yeah. to remember. Yeah. He did last last summer. Baron did? Yeah, Baron and Bill over there in the new portable fence we put up. Oh, okay. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. <laughs>